Hey, Shalom and welcome to Rakab HaKapash from Jim Islam, giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba Shem, Chach, Wadash. When I give double honors unto the elders, the apostles of GMS, and Shalom out right there to the hopeful that expression is truth and all sincerity. Yeah, back again with another video. Uh, and I got, you know, this video here. Um, probably posted up in the chat today. And um, it's, it's, uh, just this just demonstrates, you know, Esau's, Esau's technology, right? And, you know, the miracles that he, you know, supposedly does with these technologies, right? You know, he's able to do things, you know, through his technologies that, you know, would be deemed as miracles in in the eyes of the people, you know, in the world, right? People don't believe in, you know, the acts that the Lord did kind of thing, you know, because the Lord's miracles were actually just that, miracles, you know? done by spiritual power okay not needing invasive uh, technology inserted in your head or in, in your body you know you know recovery periods no nothing you know the lord healed you man and, and and that was it you couldn't see the lord can give you your sight back you couldn't walk the lord could give you your your you know your strength in your in your legs back you know things like that you know you don't have to go through no rehabilitation <laughs> exoskeletons and and computers and cameras and eyeballs and all that kind of madness you know you know become like a walking freakazoid you know but um but yeah you know i'm gonna play this video and just show you what uh you know how he saw you know thinks him, thinks of himself as a god and is, and is really convincing the people that really he's the guy that we should all follow because he's able to do all these great things and and when you know the time comes you know for the MOTB to be rolled out in mass then you know the majority of these people out here are going to take it because they you know they believe in Esau they believe in him they believe in what he's capable of doing you know, he you know he's capable of protecting and saving people and and healing people and we need to follow this guy because you know yeah he's the guy he's been putting up he's put himself up as 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 God on earth, right? These so called either no, these so called white people, these Edomites, right? Okay, so yeah, without further ado, let's play the video. The stimulator's off. I just wanted to mark what your tremor is like. Okay, you happy for that to go ahead? Yeah. Right then, with your right hand, if you possibly can, touch your nose, touch my finger. It's hell, bro, isn't it? Okay. On the real test. Do you think you could pick that up for me? <sighs> See, that's a that's a madness, man. Like, my man can't even, you know. Give himself drink and, and food and stuff that like, no doubt he has to be fed and watered, you know, by others. So he he you know he kind of depended on others, man, and that's that's kind of that's a hell to be in, man. But people don't consider you know the fact that it's the Most High that gives us these uh, disabilities, man. If you've got disabilities or, or whatever ailments or whatever, it's the Most High only that's put that on you, man. You know, and People here, you know, they don't like to, to, to um, what's that, uh, you know, deal with the car that they've been given in life, right? And they won't be humble enough to turn to the most high to take that away from them, you know? So they seek after ways to get around things, right? Which, you know, which is a normal human thing. Obviously, no one wants to be in, in hell in, in the condition that they're, you know, suffering with. But this is, this is, <laughs> this is the problem. Right, people are gonna go seek outside help, right? When really you should be seeking the heavenly father, be praying and 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 you know be humble and all this uh, type of things. But you know, these are gonna go see Esau because they're not getting you know the results they wanted, you know, in you know, living the lives that they're living. And Esau will provide a way to get around the fact that you know you've been stuck with this um this disease or ailment or whatever, you know, because you're living in hell, man. You want to get out of that. Now, when all hell breaks loose in the earth, you know, let's broaden the analogy, 
You know, when this earth is in chaos, man, and, and, and the world is, you know, is feeling the pain, is being afflicted by all, all kind of terrors, which the Lord, again, has is putting upon the earth, right? They're going to want to seek a way out. And Esau is going to provide that way. You know, he's going to provide a way that you can get food and water and medication and whatever. And most people are going to buckle on, under that and just accept it, right? Which is a big no-no uh, with the Heavenly Father, man. You know, but yeah, let's carry on with this. Right, okay. Should we switch it on? So he got a chip in his brain, and they're talking about switching it on, right? So he's gonna get switched on, right? And this is obviously a you know, part of some type of TV program. You got that low level celebrity, uh, obviously. Um, I don't know her name, but, um, you know, hosting it. Okay. Ha. Uh, right? Ha. Uh, that's it. Does that feel better? That feels good. <laughs> <laughs> Should we try and do these assessments again? And it's so warm and fuzzy, you know, like, oh, yeah, it's, you know. And of course, like a normal person, obviously, this is a reaction that people have. Obviously, it's a woman and fuzzy feeling, but Esau's pushing this out here for deception purposes. Yeah, he is capable of, you know, healing certain ailments, you know, if you want, you know, getting drilled in the skull or whatever. <laughs> right? Yeah, he, he, can, he can do that for you. Right? We've got the neural links of the world out there, you know, big big plans out there for, for, for the world, right? And and these C hips, right? But Esau's not really bringing it about to help people. This is this is like the you know the, the facade and you know the the you know the front shop you know the front shop looks legit but you know behind the front shop is where the criminal activity <laughs> is going on. This is this is how Esau's introducing it into the world to make everyone feel comfortable with this crazy ass shit that he want to do to you. All right. With this hand only and with your right index finger, touch your nose, touch my finger. I don't know if they can do it now. Okay, you're right. It's amazing. It's amazing, she said, right? He's getting emotional. That's why he's shaking me because he's getting emotional. Good. <laughs> you know? It was getting emotional. You're right. Yeah. Lastly, you try picking that cup up for me with your right hand. <laughs> I swear she said it's a miracle. Oh, where is it? Well done. It's incredible. Incredible. That is amazing. That is an amazing change. For him to even just drink is great. That deserves a round of applause. It deserves a round of applause. He said it deserves a round of applause. He's back. I swear she said it's a miracle. I swear she said that. Uh, it's like it. I'm, I'm pretty sure she said it, bro. Because that's literally what. Okay. You know, uh, kind of described. Right. Uh, Let me listen close for a second. That's it. Does that feel better? That feels good. <laughs> <laughs> Should we try and do these assessments again? With this hand only, and with your right index finger, touch your nose, touch my finger. Okay, you're right. Good. Can you try picking that cup up for me with your right hand? Well done. That is amazing. That is an amazing. Yeah, these are words amazing and incredible. But these are, you know, part of Esau's miracles, man. And now people are going to be, you know, um, you know, well, they said they're, they're amazed, right? They're amazed at what Esau is capable of doing with his technology. So people are going to trust in this man, thinking that this technology that he's, he's you know, he's developed 
it's for the sole purpose of helping humanity when all you got to do is look at all of Esau's inventions and what he's brought into the world, right? There is a dual-edged sword to all of these things, right? On one hand, yeah, it could do good. It could it could do good, but, you know, we know that what often happens is, you know, there, there's a lot of negatives that, that come with that and not a lot of good is done and the bad of, often outweighs the good, all right? But let's get into the lesson now. So, you know... Revelations 13 and 14 says this. It says, I'm going to start verse 13 here. It says, And he doeth great wonders so that he make a fire come down from heaven on the earth in the sight of men. Right? Esau got the means and the destructive capability, man, to, to bring fire and, and, and destroy nations, man. Right? That is one of his creations. You know? Was that to help humanity? No, not really. You know, <laughs> not all really. It was it was to cause destruction. You know, to to beat enemies and and whatever. But look at look at the world, man, and you know what what's come of it. It's you know, yeah, the, the bad outweighs the good here. All right. So anyway, and deceiveth them that dwell on the earth by the means of those miracles. Right. So it, these miracles and his ability to do these things are a means of deception. Uh, uh, you know, a force hope or force um you know sense of security or, or whatever man a false perception of somebody right he's using this to deceive the people on the earth right so the, which had power to do which he had power to do in the sight of the beast saying to them that dwell on the earth that they should make an image to the beast which had the wound had the wound by a sword and did live and that he had power to give life unto the image of the beast that the image of the beast should both speak and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed, right? So ultimately, this this ability or you know, this power that's been given to to Esau, Satan, right? Right. He 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 really wants it to be, um, worshipped. Right. He wants it to be worshipped. He wants to be looked at as a god. Right. He wants that respect. Right. He wants that recognition. Right. So the time is coming, where Esau going to roll that. His C hip technology, his implantable devices, right? And he's gonna have you in the palm of his hands. And if you don't respect him, <laughs> respect my authority, if you don't respect him and you don't respect his system, you don't respect the way he wanna do things, right? Then he'll off you, man. That's what he'll do. He don't need you around. He got plenty. He got AI now, he got robots, he got all kinds of machinery. He don't need everybody on the planet, you know? As as the Georgia Guy Stones, you know, used to used to say, <laughs> you know, he has I you know his ideas is to keep population down, right? So he don't need you, right? So if you don't want to be a part of it, part of his new, his new you know his NWO, his new system, then you could be off. All right, because he, as far as he can, he's concerned, man. I am God. Look, I'm the one that do all these things. You need me, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's how he, that's how he acting, man. You know. That he the one that should be on top forever ruling because he's God and that he, he deserves the respect that you know he feels like he deserves, right? But it's all you know pres presumptuous and you know ill willed, right? Isaiah 14 and 13. So thou hast said in thine heart, I will ascend into heaven, I will exalt my throne above the stars of God, and I will sit upon the mount of the congregation in the sides of the north, right? So he want to be on top, like I said, and you know all of this, all this technology that you know, that's his claim, man, because he's able to do all these things that he's like the Most High, that he get to be on top, and people get to you know have to do what he says. Right, he wants he wants to rule over the Most High's children, okay, which is what he's speaking about here, um, when he speaks about uh, where have I looked? I missed it. And he says, I will sit upon the mount of the congregation in the sides of the north. Okay, that's, that's the most high's children he's speaking upon. He wants to keep them in oppression. He feels like he's better than them. He's better than us. You know, he's the older brother. He's better than us, right? Yeah, you know, he feels bad, right? He feels hard done by. So he wants to keep us down, right? It says, um, verse 14, says, I will ascend above the heights of the clouds. I will be like the most high. That's his aspirations. To be and surpass the heavenly father. 
and we all know the Heavenly Father is omnipotent uh, and can do anything. And you know, the great acts and you know that are written here in the scriptures are all testimony to that, and He wants to surpass that. Okay, the Most High is all seeing, all knowing. He's so trying to you know discover everything that He possibly can, even though He don't really need to. Man is going out into space trying to find the edges of existence for why. You know, he ain't even got things locked, locked down on the earth, man. He don't know everything on earth, so he needs to chill. You know, but he's bringing all, you know, all these inventions to pass to do this and do that. You know, create great destruction to create healing and and control and whatever. He he wants to be what the Most High already is, because the Most High he is, <laughs> right? And he's so trying to be. You know. Um. This is verse fifteen. Yet thou shall be brought down to hell. To the sides of the pit, right? Because your hubris, man, your your you know, your pride and your arrogancy is gonna lead you to destruction, man. Okay, the the thought that you could be on par with the heavenly father is is arrogancy, man, right? This is from Ezekiel twenty eight verse two. It says, "Son of man, say, say unto the prince of Tyrus, right." Okay, which represents Esau in, in, in today, right? Thus says the Lord of power, Yahweh, because thine heart is lifted up by thy pride, right? And now it said, I am a God, and I sit in the seat of God, right? He sits at the top. That's what he feels like, because the Moses hasn't come to judge him, right? He's been un, un, um, unimpeded, okay, this whole time while he's been in rulership. He's been unimpeded, he's been allowed to do Whatever the hell he want, want, wants to do. He's been allowed to do it. And he thinks that the Most High isn't going to come and do or say nothing to him. Or that he can't. Right? Because he's just so advanced now. Because he got the power to bomb. And, you know, he, he got all kind of, you know, AIs. And, you know, he got all kinds of things going on. He's become proud in these things. Thinking that, you know, there's some kind of a major achievement. Okay, but they're nothing compared, you know, to the Heavenly Father. You know, and he doesn't understand that yet. He's showing which he's gonna find that in due time. All right, it says um, it says I am a god. I sit in the seat of God in the midst of the seas. Okay, in the midst of the nations. Right. It says yet thou art a man. Right. You're you're of the dust like all the rest of us, man. You're mortal. Right. You die. You bleed. You bleed. Right. The most I doesn't die. Most I doesn't. Get old. Mosai doesn't bleed. And Mosai living forever, man, and is 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 complete in his power. You know, you're not on that level. Even though you, you know, like I said, for your te technology, you're trying to obtain those things, you know, for your transhumanism agenda, you know, trying to live forever and you know, put your consciousness in, in new bodies and, and, and whatever, man. You know, you're trying to do all these things, but you're not successful. You know, you know, you give yourself like 10, 10 heart transplants, man, trying to live forever, man, and you still die. Who, who, who was that did that? Was it Kissinger? <laughs> so one of them had like four heart, heart transplants or some, or some shit like that, trying to stay alive, man. And no, when the most high says it's your time, man, you'll be taken, man. You ain't staying on the earth, <laughs> you know. Uh, this is a uh, whole dark wiser than. Oh, sorry, let me finish this off. It says, um, I am a God and I sit in the midst, sorry, I sit in the seat of God in the midst of the seas, yet thou art a man and not God, though thou thou set thine heart, which is their, their minds, right, as the heart of God, thinking that they could do everything the most I can, you know. Behold, thou art wiser than Daniel, there is no secret that they can hide from thee, right? He saw, you know, he searches out a lot of shit, man, you know, dabbles in a lot of witchcraft and all these types of things. Funds all kinds of projects, right? He's, he he is why he doesn't know a lot of things. Okay, but like the scriptures say, uh, was it the knowledge of, of evil or wickedness is not wisdom or something to that effect, right? Because that's what he that's what he's expert in wickedness and evil, right? But all of that is gonna cause him to fall short, man, because it's, it's caused nothing but pride and arrogancy in him. Okay, which the Most High, you know, dislikes. Right, and not me, you're gonna be destroyed for. All right.
is Daniel chapter 8 verse 25, right? It says, and through his policy also he shall cause craft to prosper in his hand and he shall magnify himself in his heart, right? And it's the same thing that's going on today, okay? Originally speaking about Antiochus, you know, he saw in the same mind state today and, you know, in his, in his power and his rulership, he's doing the same thing, right? And he shall magnify himself in his heart and by peace shall destroy many, right? So... Like I said, when the, the MLTB gets rolled out, okay, be in the guise of protecting and helping people, right? But ultimately, all those that take the MLTB, that take that C-hip, that implantable device in, the, in their right hand, on their forehead, right? The most is going to destroy them, man, pursuing to Revelation chapter 14, right? He won't get everybody killed, <laughs> you know? All right, so it says though uh, his policy through through poli it's lucky and through his policy also he shall cause craft to cross, prosper in his hand and he shall magnify himself in his heart and by peace shall destroy many. He shall also stand up against the prince of princes, but he shall be broken without hand. Okay, going into Antioch uh, Antiochus Epiphanes, right? But you know Esau is doing the same exact same thing today. Okay, he on a repeat uh, repeat cycle, so you know he ain't doing anything, you know original. He's just do, redoing what he's already done and he's, he's failed multiple times already. You know? And he still thinks, you know, that, 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 that just shows you he saw insane. <laughs> right? Well, the, the own scientist, Einstein said it, said it, you know, that insanity is repeating the same thing over and over again and, and, and expecting a different result. Right? But he, he's been doing this for, for a long time, man, trying to do this dumb shit and he, he fails every time. But he some, 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 somehow he thinks this time will be different. Because he, cause he got the because he got the nukes because he got the weapon he got the laser beams he got the he got the uh uh, uh you know chemical bomb he got the biological weapons he, you know he just thinks that this this is gonna be the, his time you know it's his time and it and it ain't and he's gonna you know he's gonna know that as soon as the angels t turn up man he knows it's over he ain't, he ain't on the level to fight with no angels man Right, uh, Psalms fifty-five verse twenty-one says, "The words of his mouth were smoother than butter, but war was in his heart. His words were softer than oil, yet they were drawn swords." Right, so, like I said, you know, Esau's using these uh, these so-called miracles that he's able to do. Okay, even though it's like a, a watered-down version of of what's truly capable. Okay, through the spirit and power, Yah Bashim Yah Shai. You know, he he's happy that he can just do something. <laughs> <laughs> you know um but through these miracles that people can be amazed by you know he's going to deceive people and it's not really the reason why he's not doing it is not because he wants you to walk or he wants you to see he don't give a shit about any of that okay but he wants you to be he wants to be worshipped he wants to have control over you right he wants you to bring you to that place man where you 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 need him like that <laughs> you know and there is no escape from him you know, if everyone's taking these, these, you know, chips and mechanics and all that kind of stuff into their bodies, man. You know, he's gotten people to soften the idea that, you know, taking this, the C-hip, the MOTB is just a, you know, it's a small thing. It's a, uh, what they say, they keep mentioning it as the size of grain of rice. So it's very minimalist, you know, or whatever, man. It's not, it's, a, it's only slightly invasive, you know, but by then people are used to the idea. And it's, you know, not so much of an issue to them. It's not a big deal. It's just a, just a small little cut in, in the hand. You know, it's not a big thing. Look, look what it can do. You know, it, you know give us access to, to, to food and water and all that kind of stuff. So people are going to wait up in in their minds and just and just decide that's a good, good idea. You know? Which, you know, only is not. All right. But yeah, you know, Esau's using it to ensnare the people, man. He's, he's you know, he's, he's using it as a snare, as a trick. And this is Sirach chapter 12, verse 10. It says, Never trust thine enemy, for like as iron rust, if so is his wickedness. Though he humble himself and go crouching, yet take good heed and beware of him. That thou shalt be unto him as if thou hast wiped a looking glass, and thou shalt know that his rust have not been altogether wiped away. Okay. He was made to be the wicked, and he will always be the wicked until the to the point he's destroyed right and no matter what mask he puts on no matter what suit he puts on no matter what smile he puts on or whatever man 
he's the same dude through and through. Okay, his nature cannot be changed. Right, so you give him the benefit of doubt because he's acting nice. Well, that's what a deceiver does, right? That's what the devil do. He acts the part. He acts like he's your friend. He acts like he's trying to help him and blah, blah, blah. Until the opportunity comes where, you know, he's going he gonna to snap on you, man. Right? And you're going to have, you know, he, he's way with you, right? It says, um, verse 12, set him not by thee, least or lest when he have overthrown thee, he stand up in thy place. Neither let them sit at thy right hand. Lest he seek to take thy seat. And thou at the last remember my words and be pricked therewith. It says, Who will pity a charmer that is bitten and with a serpent or any such as come nigh wild beast? Right? Because again, it's their nature to do these things, man. It's their na nature to bite. You know? It says, So one that goeth to a sinner and is defiled with him in his sins, who will pity? For a while he will abide with thee, but if thou begin to fall, he will not tarry. An enemy, okay, which Esau is. These so called white people are right, and enemy speaks sweetly with his lips. So he only gonna say all the nice things that you want that you want to hear. Of course, why why would he tell you up front all the wickedness he wants to do to you? <laughs> why would he why would he do that to you? He wants to get close to you, man. He wants to deceive you. So he's gonna tell you all the things that you want to hear. You know, and like I said, Esau's plans are elaborate, man. He like the ultimate con artist. His plans are elaborate. You know? And that's what a con artist is. He comes up with elaborate ideas to fleece people of money, man. Like large amounts of money. And it might be a long con. It, you know, this this surely is. But a con man might do a long con. And you, you like for, for weeks and months and years, my man set you up. And you thought you, like, you were close. You know, you thought you could trust him. You know, because that's what a con man is. He gets your confidence, right? You feel like you can trust him. That's what Esau is doing. He's, he's getting the confidence of the people to feel confident enough to take, uh, you know, the MOTB in, 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 their, in their right hand or in their foreheads. That's what he's doing. Making you feel comfortable. With the idea of all this technology. Look at all the benefits it can do. Oh, there's all the people doing it and they're fine. You know, there's all these things that are, you know, that he sort of set up to play that long game with, with the world so that he can have his NWO, so he can have his total control over the people as short as it will be, you know. Um, so yeah, verse 16 again, an enemy speaking sweetly with his lips, but in his heart, in his mind, he imagined he had to throw thee into a pit, okay, into that trap, right? He will weep with his eyes, but if you find opportunity, he will not be satisfied with blood. Right, so he'll play. He'll play the part until it's until he doesn't need to anymore. Right, if adversity come upon thee, thou shalt find him there first. And though he pretend to help thee, yet shall he undermine it. Esau's always looking to undermine the people, always, always, man. That is what he's dreaming of doing. In the end, is undermining you, man, and getting getting one over you, deceiving you, and 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 you know, getting the victory of you. Effing you over. That's that's what he gets off on, man. That's what he wants to do. All right. Verse 18, he shall shake, he will shake his head and clap his hands and whisper much and change his countenance, right? He'll it will show you who he is, what he truly is. That rust, <laughs> he will he will show you it. And he's gonna show the whole world what we've what we've always been telling you about this man. And what his true intentions are. All right. I'm going to close out with this just to make the point again, right? Revelation 12 and 9. And the great dragon was cast out, that old serpent called the devil and Satan. Okay, that's that represents Esau. Right? Which deceives the whole world. He is in power. And his job right now, or his plan, his, his, his goal is to deceive the whole world. So, again, you know, going back. You know, using these miracles to deceive people is all part of that. Again, verse 14, and deceiveth them that dwell on the earth by the means of those miracles and what he was able to do. You know, the technology he's got, the abilities that he has. People are, 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 are being 
deceived by these miracles. You know? So again, the, the, the great dragon was cast out of the old serpent called the devil and Satan, which deceived the whole world. He was cast into the earth and his angels were cast out with him. All right? So eventually, you know, ultimately, Esau's plans ain't going to come to fruition completely, right? So Esau's going to be taken out of rulership. He ain't going to obtain his everlasting kingdom that he's, that he's seeking for, right? But he's going he gonna to get a lot of people destroyed in the process because a lot of people are going to be banking on him, be trusting in him. For, for for salvation You know um, Let's go Let me read this uh, Revelation 13 and 15 Sorry 16 And he calls of all both small and great Rich and poor Free and bond To receive a mark In their right hand Or in their foreheads But that guy had the Had one in his brain Which they switched on but the same way it can be switched on, I'm, I'm sure it could be switched off if they wanted to. You know, just tap the pad, turn man off, man, man, back to shaky. You know, it's the same with these 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 uh, MOTBs. The same thing will, will apply. It can be turned off. You can be blocked. You know, blocked from the services that you know that the the, the, the C -hip, you know is providing you with. So that means you're cut off from all your or all, all your uh all your funds, okay, your your you know your credits, right? You, so you can't go shop, you can't you can't buy or sell night. Right? So you have to have it and you gotta be approved, man. You know, that's what, what that whole uh China social credit system is about, man. If you're not uh deemed a worthy citizen, then you get blocked from certain things, man. You know, they could do that. Right, it says, uh, and he calls it all both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads, and that no man might buy or sell save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. All right, on me. His Revelation uh, 14 and 9 will close with this. It said, The third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, If any man worship the beast and his image and receive his mark or uh, sorry, he's mark in his forehead or in his hand. The same will drink. Sorry, the same shall drink of the wine of the rock, wrath of the Most High, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation, and he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb. And the smoke of their torment ascendeth up for ever and ever, and they have no rest day nor night who worship the beast and his image, and who has whosoever received the mark of his name. Right. So anybody that you know chooses to side with Esau and you know look. For, to Esau for salvation They're going to be Very disappointed When the time comes Right Because they, they thought they, they made a good bet Because Esau You know He could do anything You know Because he's putting himself Up as God Right So you believe That he can do anything So if he tells you Man yeah You know Yeah you just do this Take this And you know We can We can get through this You're going to believe him Right As opposed to you know, believing in the Most High who you can't see and don't have the faith to believe in, you know, people are not going to turn to the Most High in that time. You know, the majority of these people are going to take that, that see it, man, and be destroyed. You know? And so we hope, you know, that we are of the elect that have the belief and faith in Yahweh Shemir Hashai to, you know, not take that, that see it. You know, to choose Yahweh Shemir Hashai in that time for, for, for him to Deliver us to save us from from the chaos and the hell that's gonna be running rampant throughout the world. You know, but like I said all these miracles that he's that he's doing and you know everything he's doing on, on the earth is is to really to make people believe in his ability over over the Most High's ability, right? So that ultimately you're gonna choose him to be your your power, salvation, your your God, and not the Most High. Okay, who's the only one that can save? All right. So those that choose Esau, the Most High is going to destroy it just to show you how stupid and foolish you were. You know, but he's going to save his elect man to, to, to obviously to show uh, the opposite to that. You know, that is wise and to to believe in Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai for salvation. Okay, and this this is this is the the, the one we're meant to be fearing, right? Not Esau. Believe in Esau. All right. 
But anyway, I'm going to end it there, man. So, Lord, when this is edifying, and I'll catch your brothers and sisters on the next video, man. So, till next time, I say Shalom.